Now, husband mode. <clears throat> I was praying. I said, wasn't it a dog that was going to be delivered? My heavenly father said, and what does that tell you? Lying spirit, Mary. Lying spirit. Lying spirit. I was trying to teach my wife how I'm a lie detector. If I start saying something and I stop myself and I'm like, wait a minute, what really happened was this, then I automatically know that person is being false with me. So we'll work on that, my love. Because if I detect deception, I get defensive. So Mary was here and everybody was telling her, just be honest with him. So you guys have to learn to lay your life and your plans out. What they actually are. And then how to renew your mind and take my plan and lay it over it. That's what me and Mary are learning right now, okay? So we're walking this out with you and there's a lot to Mary that she doesn't understand just like there's a lot to me, okay? Helping you be the best that you can under the Lordship of the Lord Jesus. Who is your husband? In your marriages, <clears throat> remember what I said. That's where your protection is going to be. That's where your spouse has learned to be long suffering, to be patient with you. and to keep you centered, well, this is God's plan for our life. Because that is what's going to keep you happy. What I decided was, I'm not going to be overbearing because of the five love languages. No one likes to be forced to do anything. In fact, love is always freely given. Love cannot be demanded. We can request things of each other, but we must never demand anything. Requests give direction to love, but demands stop the flow of love. Not true in my kingdom, <clears throat> but in a marriage. What we're going to be doing, well, this is God's will. And we're not going to be ashamed to say it. No, this is what the Lord said. And then if the prodigal doesn't take that advice. The effects will be on the prodigal and not the kingdom spouse anymore. <clears throat> That's perfect. Even more perfect. You guys have to remember you have a kingdom wedding day still waiting for you. And that was the battle. So don't let the devil win. The sound mind comes from you having the Holy Spirit. God has a sound mind.
In the gospel, it was simple. <clears throat> I am the vine, ye are the branches. Apart from me, you can do nothing. What your marriage is going to be is going to require you to work on your marriage. Remember, you're building your life on the rock because you're in a tribulation. And you guys may not like it, but you need each other as in need each other to be happy. It was designed this way before the creation of the earth. I love you.